What is up, YouTubians? Kudamalo here coming at you with another exciting video today reviewing Harris Diatomaceous Earth. This is basically an organic, right, omni listed for organic use, an organic pesticide or way of keeping insects and bugs off your plants, at least for the most part. I've had good success with this, right, going into the review. I've only had maybe like a bug or two that has chewed away, but it's not too bad. And basically, I spread this over my like potted plants. I live in a small little tiny little apartment, so my garden is limited to basically a small area. But the stuff that I do have, this is what I will use the diatomaceous earth on to keep the bugs and the insects and the pesticides away. The way I use this is I will usually do it when the plants are dry, meaning that it's like a day after I've watered them or a day before I water them. And I'll only use this maybe once a month, right? Obviously, if you live in an area where you have more insects, more bugs, more that kind of thing, you could use it maybe more frequently, like maybe let's say every two weeks or even every week if you if you really go to the extreme and that's the kind of situation that you're in. But basically for me, for like, let's say like normal use, I would say once a month, just kind of dust it over the plants, like in my case here, the mint. So what it looks like is basically a flower type of powdery type substance. I don't want to touch it right now because it, it is really flaky and flowery and it gets all over the place, but you get the idea. It's kind of flowery, right? Kind of powdery, very powdery. And what it is, is ground up freshwater diatomaceous fossil shells is basically what it is. Keep in mind something to notice, right? It's okay. It's perfectly normal is after you use this and you water it, you may get a little bit of a sulfur smell, right? Like a rotten eggs kind of a smell. It's very light. It's not strong at all. It's just something to be aware of. So if you get that smell, don't be alarmed. That's actually normal. That's actually a, a testament to, to you're actually getting good quality diatomaceous earth. The reason why I chose the food grade, right, was obviously for the organic growing purposes. But the food grade just tells me that if for whatever reason I don't do a thorough washing or rinsing of this off of my vegetables, right, and I do manage to get some of it into my system, at least I know it's food grade, that it's approved for food use, right? So humans, animals, whatever the case may be. You might have animals in your backyard, right? Maybe maybe you're that kind of person that has a horse in your backyard or maybe you're maybe you're raising sheep or goats for milk or whatever or pigs or whatever the case may be and some of the, so they eat some of this. At least you know that if you eat that, right? Let's say you're raising sheep or goats or whatever the case may be or chickens and it gets into their feed, you know that it's food grade, that it's not going to harm you, I think, hopefully, potentially. Right, right, right. Okay. So with that being said, here, there's the front label. Here is the back label. And obviously, as you can see, food grade, anti-caking agent, natural product composed of ground, fresh water, diatomaceous earth. They're showing you a picture of a horse and a chicken, right? <laughs> so obviously, it's okay to use with your animals. Over here, I think there's a cow and there's a dog, right? So... If you're eating beef or you're drinking the milk from the cows, right? Keep that in mind. If your pet ingests some of this, I guess they're saying that it's okay. And then back here on the label, anti-caking agent to be mixed in animal feed, right? Limitations, there's some risks. You may want to wear a respirator or goggles or that kind of a thing. And then again, giving you the Omri Organic listed for use thing. Now is a good time to hit the subscribe button down there below. Make sure you do that. I do try to put a little bit of content out there for almost everyone. So that's the reason why you want to be subscribed to this channel. Okay, and then the very last thing I'm going to tell you about this product is I like it more than any other type of harsh chemical you may find out there. Something like Roundup is something that I do not like, I do not use. There have been numerous stories, case histories, all that kind of stuff about it potentially, about Roundup potentially causing cancer. So that's the reason why I do not use Roundup. Also, I think it's just better to go with an organic product like this, a natural pesticide or herbicide. You get the idea. So with that being said, hit the subscribe button down there below, trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the month. Let's try to make that happen. Also hit the notification bell if you want to keep abreast of when those videos come out. There is some pretty cool products listed in the description section down there below. If you want to go ahead and check those out, those are Cooter Malloy approved products. Basically trying to find the highest possible quality products I can find at the lowest possible prices. That's the reason why that list in the description exists, why I choose those products and I buy them and I use them regularly. 
they're they've all been good to me so far so i can't complain and then lastly down in the description section down below there is a link to cooter malloy product reviews so make sure to visit that facebook page subscribe like and follow on there if you like what you're seeing anyways i'm cooter malloy and i will catch you all on the next exciting video